Sup Daily 06, this is Jen coming at you on my downtime, hope you're having a good one and this is a video response to you because you asked all of us viewers, your daily crew, what was our first job? Well, I actually got my first job when I was 18 even though I wanted to start working when I was 16. My dad did not agree to signing the uh, papers that would allow me to work at the age of 16 so I had to wait till I was 18. Um, my first job that I got was working for a deli. Um, I gotta say, I failed miserably at just about every single job that my boss at the time had to give me. Um, first he tried having me um, cook catering food, which I knew nothing about because I was not a cook back then. Um, I still would not really call myself a cook now, but at least I could cook a hell of a lot better than I did then. Um, I screwed so many things up, it was unbelievable. I just, I just did not know how to cook. Um, my boss gave me three chances. First, he tried to have me bake a lasagna, and I ended up burning the damn thing, so that didn't work out. Then he had me try to make a salad platter, and the salad came out great, but I did not plate it right. Oops. Second screw up. Third screw up, he's like, okay, you know what? I'm going to have you do like the simplest thing that you can possibly do, and that's peeling and boiling potatoes. Do you think you can do that? Yes, boss. <laughs> I ended up boiling the potatoes before I attempted to peel them, which is like the wrong thing to do. And I actually, <laughs> I actually tried peeling them in the water that I boiled them in. Which was really stupid because, like, not only did the potatoes fall apart, but they fell apart in the water. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I swear my boss must have had, like, the biggest shit fit ever. Excuse the French, but he really did flip out. Um, so from that, he got me to... I mean, he got me from doing that because I totally failed at that, too. Uh, being a cashier, um... Also work in the lottery machine because I was 18 years of age, so I was allowed. So I, I was able to do those well. Yay! Ding! Those were two things that I could do well, so two thumbs up on that. And um, he also got me to, you know, make the basic things like the bagel with cream cheese, toasted bagel with uh, butter, sandwiches. Um, thank goodness that my boss was not um, at my job that one day, this one day, because somebody came in and he asked for a sandwich. And I, I made the sandwich perfectly. The only thing that I screwed up on <laughs> was when I went to pour the pepper onto the sandwich, y you know what happened, right? The top came off and so I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. My boss hates me to waste things, so I'm not gonna throw the sandwich out and start all over again. I'm just gonna try to scrape. <laughs> the pepper off. Needless to say, the customer came back and complained about that, but it wasn't that big of a deal because every single sandwich in ratio that I've made compared to that one sandwich friggin' did great, so I wasn't written up or fired or my hours weren't cut back for that, and um, he still let me make sandwiches anyway because he understood that it was just one mistake that happened out of the many sandwiches that I made perfectly. So, yeah, that was my first job. Um, it was very, you know, fast-paced because we had a lot of customers um, in the manor section of the town that I grew up in. And the manor section is like, oh my gosh, you know how it is. Upper middle class to, like, rich people coming into that deli, so you know how high their standards are and how much pressure that it is on a person who is working their very first job. But, you know, for the most part, I did well, even though I screwed up with the catering. At least, you know, for the most part, I did everything else fine. I wasn't in charge of stocking anything. Just, you know, cashier, lotto machine, uh, bagels, and sandwiches. That's all I was in charge of. I couldn't even make a salad right. I sucked so bad, but... Yeah, that was my first job. Um, so, that's it, man. That's my video response for you. Sup, Daily! from the Daily Crew. Oh yeah. And I will see you all on the next one. Ta-ta for now.